everybody, how you doing? Arnie Cap here, and um, I was wondering, um, it's Friday, St. Patrick's Day, and uh, sitting here by myself in my father-in-law's house, and uh, I was pondering some stuff on my way home from work, and have you ever just had something unexpected happen, and you think to yourself, what the heck, man? Like, where the freak did that come from? Like, what, did I manifest that? Was that... Was that the law of attraction going on in my mind? Like vibrating negativity into my experience here? Like, I, I wasn't planning, <laughs> I wasn't planning on that to happen. And um, I will tell you that negativity or neg negative events and negative circumstances, when they happen to us, we process, process them in very interesting ways. And, um, I began to think about negativity and two thoughts came into my head. Number one is I believe that negativity or the, the perception of a negative event is um, a self-inflicted wound. I think that's self-perceived, right? Now, I'm not necessarily talking about tragedy, like super tragedy, super unexpected tragedy. Um, it's always terrible when something super tragic happens uh, in someone's life. And, and yes, you have the right to shake your fist at the heavens and go, why, why is this happening to me? But, um, but all in all, I, I, I ultimately believe that we have the ability to decide how we're going to perceive any particular event or circumstance that's happening. So I, I've done, you know, I started to journal, you know, I love to journal, right? And uh, I started to journal on this recently. <laughs> uh, by the way, my name is Arnie Cap, and uh, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. You're watching Create Authentic Purpose. And uh, my video series is called Created From Scratch. And, and uh, scratch stands for self-worth, commitment, rituals, awareness, training, and happiness. So uh, as I said, I was starting to journal uh, about negativity or negative circumstances being a human perception. I wrote this, I wanna share it with you. The mindset created after a negative event heavily influences what happens next. I'm gonna read that again. The mindset, the way you think, the mindset created after a negative event heavily influences what happens next. It all boils down to the questions you ask yourself afterward. And you can ponder, why did this happen to me? And that's victimization. And again, I get it. There's, there's some super tragic things that happen. Um, but you can say, why did this happen to me? And there's a certain amount of victimization mindset in that. Or you can say, what am I supposed to learn from this? And that's opportunity, that's lesson, right? Quite frankly, and this is what I believe, the degree of your faith is inversely proportional to the degree of negativity you perceive occurring to you at any given moment, okay? The degree of your faith is inversely proportional, inversely proportional to the degree of negativity you perceive occurring to you at any given moment. The greater your faith, the less negative life events feel. At pure faith and alignment with the Creator, there is no such thing as a negative event. If you live your life as if every event is nothing more than a nudge to move you in a direction towards God's purpose for you, then the reality is that nothing negative is ever occurring. And as Richard Rohr likes to say, old friend of my father, everything, everything is sacred. because everything is a byproduct of God's creation. Why is this happening to me? Why is this ending? Why is this occurring? These are not questions, these are curiosities. 
They're an opportunity to seek clarity and discernment and path. It's God's way of saying, I'm trying to get you to what you want to create. So I'm ending what's happening now so I can get you moving towards your intention. And you have to understand this. If you intend for something to happen deeply and intensely, then plan on the potential of something uncomfortable happening in order to get you on path to what you want. So if you really, really, really want something happen, to happen in your life, but you're not taking action towards it, then it's very possible that the, the laws of the universe, the laws of creation, are gonna create some discomfort over here to push you in the direction it wants you to go. But we must trust the process first. We cannot doubt the method and the means, even if it comes with discomfort, pain, or anxiety. Discomfort is there to cause a change in direction. It's part of the plan because its ultimate outcome is what we are expecting, what we're hoping, what we're intending. The only reason anything is perceived or felt as negative is because it messes with our need and desire to be in control. It screws up your plans for you. The problem is that most of us have plans that are loaded with human limitation and short-sightedness. God's playing a long game, folks. God's playing the long game. Let's be honest. Most of us have a limited vision for how to parlay an unexpected event into a meaningful outcome. We tend to see the unexpected or unplanned as problematic. When you live in a state of pure faith in a benevolent and sacred creator, there is no need for question, no need for doubt, because all things have to happen in accordance with how God wrote your story. And when you can get to that point, even in your darkest hours, you realize that a holy and loving creator is navigating the choppy waters of your life with you and your long-term desires in play. Think of it this way, and those of you who are parents will understand this. When a parent makes a decision based on knowing how the decision is best for the family in the long run, the short-sighted child may demonstrate anger and rage over the injustice of the event. Family move, those types of things. But the parent, although empathetic to the emotions of the child, sticks to the plan, knowing that in the long run, the decision is best for all. Your specific little universe, your little story, the 100 year story within an eternal story, is nothing but a microscopic blip. It's the equivalent of a single letter typo in a book the size of War and Peace. To us, in that moment, it's freaking devastating to the great story of creation with its billions of stories happening since the beginning. Our current life event is nothing but a grain of sand in the Mojave Desert. So maneuver through your creation, knowing that the great mystical and sacred unfolding of the amazing story of your creation was designed for your benefit, not your demise. Remember this, God said at the beginning of all creation, it is good. And that, my friends, is the beginning, the middle, and the wonderful ending of your story. For those of us who are dealing with a setback, an unexpected life event, for anyone who's anxious, scared, reluctant, procrastinating to do that thing that you really, really, really want to do, but you need a nudge, I, I hope, I pray that this helps. I hope that you understand that the nudge may come from something that you perceive as negative, some degree of discomfort, discouragement that 
forces you to move in a direction towards a greater ending for your story. I'm Arnie Cap, and you were created from scratch. <laughs>